As we commemorate the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., it is important to remember that out of all the things we call him, he was at heart a black Baptist pastor who was a product of the black church. We will now look at some of the clergy who influenced his intellectual development and pulpit expertise. His first model was his father, Martin Luther King Sr., pastor of the Ebenezer Church in Atlanta, and around the corner was Dr. Williams Holmes Borders in the Wheat Street Baptist Church. Dr. King graduated from Morehouse College and was under the tutelage of its renowned president, Dr. Benjamin Mays. Upon beginning at Crozer Seminary, Dr. King gained Dr. J. Pius Barber, pastor of the Calvary Baptist Church of Chester, Pennsylvania, as a mentor, who was a brilliant scholar activist and who also groomed several other clergy, such as Dr. Samuel DeWitt Proctor and William Augustus Jones. Dr. King was also highly influenced by Dr. Gardner C. Taylor, pastor emeritus of the Concord Baptist Church, who was a strong King supporter. Listen now to an excerpt of a lecture given by Dr. Taylor to Doctor of Ministry students at United Seminary. Oh, you save Jesus Christ. And my friends, you have a name. Yes, sir. It is a mighty name. Yes, sir. It is a name that is above every name. Yes, sir. It is the name of him who leads Captivity captive. Yes, sir. It is the name of him who can bring the prodigal home. Yes, it is the name of him who once faced all that death could do yes, and turned it back. Yes, sir. And sundered by the power of God the very tomb itself. Yes. That name. Yes, sir. Call it. Yes. Call it often. Yes, sir. It has power. Great, holy, redeeming, releasing, renewing power. Yes. Call it. Yes. Call it. Yes. Jesus, my Lord, I know his name. Yes. His name is all my boast. Yes. He will not, yes. will not yes. put my soul to shame. Yes. Now let my hope be lost. Call yes. his name. Yes. 